Hey, what's going on, miners? Today, we're going to be checking out this uh, thermal pad that I watched from the Linus Tech Tip show. So if you guys missed that episode, this is a thermal pad. And as the temperature gets hotter and hotter, right, and actually gets up to temperature on a GPU, it will actually go from a pad to a paste. So Linus did a video on this, and it was really, really interesting to me because the longer that it um that the that it was being used for right the better the cooling performance got so this got me thinking like hey what about G you know what about for mining rigs now this stuff isn't very i would say cheap right compared to like a tube of thermal paste or something like that right but if we could use this to possibly use for gpus on mining rigs and maybe prolong the thermal paste life like you know what I mean? Instead of only getting a couple years, I mean, it really depends on the cards. Some cards only last a year, and it depends on the algorithm and, how, and you know, what kind of environment you're in, how much, you know, how hot it is outside and stuff like that. So I thought this was really cool that this thermal pad goes from a pad to a paste and, and the performance gets better as, as time goes on. So I wanted to do this video, and I'm going to do it like every month or so, once a month. Because I want to see at what point does the performance go from getting great to start, you know, of the degradation of the paste or pad itself, right, over time. So I wanted to see how long will this last? What if, I mean, what if I do this once a month for like four years or something like that? That'll be insane, right? That'll be crazy. Um, and I want to document like every month we're going to check in and be like, okay, hey, this is doing... You know, this is how well the GPU is doing. It's at this temperature, and this is the relatively, you know, this is the um, this is the ambient air temperature because obviously the ambient air temperature is going to play a huge role in that because I'm in Arizona. Like today uh, in December, right, it's actually cold here. We got a cold front in, so it's like 32 in the morning before the sun came out. So, you know, when the sun's not out in Arizona, it actually gets extremely cold. Um so that plays a huge role in it because in the summertime, right, it's going to be like 115. So the ambient air temperature is going to be dramatically different. So I, I need to record what the ambient air temperatures are and what the temperature of the GPU itself is and then see how well it does in each of these conditions, right? So anyways, let's talk about the GPU I'm going to be doing today. So the GPU I'm going to be doing is my wife's old GPU. This is a... Uh, EVGA 1660 Super. Um, she, I put this in her computer about, I think like three or four years ago. Um, I bought a brand new. They, I don't believe I don't believe they even make this model anymore. But um, I painted the uh, obviously the uh, Shroud Pink. She has a old pink PC. It's a uh, pink Power Ranger. She has a little pink Power Ranger Funko Pop in it, and I got pink uh, you know extension cables and all that stuff. Where I I really kind of went all out on the PC. So she's up on a 30 series card now. So I've had this. So this thing, as you can see, as you can see right here, the uh, the seal on the card has never been broken. So um, I've never had to change it. I've checked the thermals like every couple of months and they've been really respectable. Um, and that's probably due to how thick this cooler is. The single fan is like extremely thick. For a 1660 Super, most 1660 Supers are probably half of this size. So I think that really accounts for keeping this car at, at a really decent temperature. We're going to be taking this apart, and then I will put it on my test bench, and we'll just leave this thing on, and we'll see uh, how long this thing lasts. And get a chance to use the old Linus Tech Tips new screwdriver here for the very first time. So let's see, we need to find our Phillips bit. So here's what it looks like after about three years, I think, maybe a little bit more. It, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like the thermal paste wasn't on there all that great, but a little bit of oil on the card. But other than that, I mean, PCB is pretty clean. I did clean it out pretty good all the time. So yeah, I mean, not too shabby, I'd say. So let's go ahead. Let's get this card cleaned up. And let's get this pad on here. All right, guys. Here it is. This is what it came in. So I might be able to 
cut that a little bit. All right, guys, there we go. I got it all cut nice and perfect. All right, there we go. You got the little pad on there. It's pretty much on the die. There's just that little part that kind of got messed up, but this thing is like, I would say like, like half a millimeter thick. So it's very hard to get this on and off. We're going to go ahead and put this back together and we're going to go put it on the test bench. All right, guys. Um, Sorry about just pointing the camera down on my desk right now. I'm reworking my workbench area. I just didn't like it. So I'm reworking it a little bit. I want to get it. I want the studio to over on the other side of the workbench to look a little bit nicer. So it's, um, it's kind of all messy over there right now. But anyways, I got the card all back together. Um, so we need to go stuff this in my test bench and I want to test every 15 minutes to see what the temperatures look like in as a crypto miner you know you want your equipment to be high quality proper cable management is part of your mining rig and the veteran miner has you covered the veteran miner cables are created with the best materials to ensure they are of the highest quality our cables are made of 16 gauge tin copper ensuring another layer of protection from oxidation and corrosion we have different colored cables carefully crafted to suit your mining rig needs. Glued heat shrink is used to firmly secure the ends on sleeving and wires. We ensure our crimped pins are up to manufacturer specifications with our calibrated machinery. Our wires also have a non-looping design for not only a clean setup, but also for avoiding wire bending. Our cables are 100% made in the USA. The veteran miner is forward thinking, always looking for new products to bring you. We support our products with a 100% guarantee. What are you waiting for? Visit our website at www.theveteranminer.com and get the best cables for your mining setup. All right, guys, we're over here at my test bench. I think hives glitched out here, but I don't know why the soles are down here or up there and not down here. No idea. Anyways... Let's go here. We could see here on the, we're getting about 26, 27 souls. We were up to like 28 souls. Um, I'm not overclocking this thing too hard. Um, we just started it. So you see, it's kind of heating up a little bit. It's at 41 C it's pretty cool in my garage, right? It's probably like at freezing or below. Um, so let's go ahead and let's, um, I'm going to give this 15 minutes to, uh, start mining. We'll come back in 15 minutes. We'll check it and then we'll check it at 30 minutes, 45 minutes in an hour. All right. All right, guys. We are back and it's been a little over 15 minutes. We're at the 20 minute mark here, but we're resting at 43C. But interesting enough, I was watching this during the test and it was up to 44, 45C. And now we've gone back down to 43. So interesting enough, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I'm curious. I want to watch this more. I want to see how the heat soak is going. But I feel like it's already turned into a pace by this point because the temperature rose and the fan was at the same speed. I have it at like 50% or whatever. And it kept going. And then it just totally just dropped back down to 2 Celsius. So we're going to let it go for 15 more minutes. And let's see if it drops any further from 43C or if it's just continues on its path. All right, so it's been about a little over 30 minutes now, and as you can see, we're still right at 43 Celsius. So I think this thing is pretty heat soaked. It's pretty locked in with its heat. Um, now I, I am gonna be doing some follow-up videos on this. Um, particular project here because we obviously need to see what this is going to be like moving forward right so i want to do one uh about a month from now and we'll see how it how well it does and stuff like that so i want to see and we might have to do this more like quarterly because i think a monthly video for a few years is probably going to get a little redundant here but I'll do an update video maybe every three months on this particular project. I want to see how well does this particular um, thermal pad or whatever you want to call it 
when does the degradation start? Because over time, this does get better, right? So my question is, is at what point do we start seeing the performance loss of this particular product, right? At some point, there's got to be degradation. But how long is it? Is it five years, 10 years, one year, two years? We don't know, right? But we're going to test it out. It'll be interesting to see how long this stretch of videos goes. So anyways, guys, this is the mining can give you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.